ready for the endurance race for the Power Racing Series at Detroit Maker Fair. And uh, how are you feeling coming into this race? Uh, we're feeling really good. I think uh, the car will last the entire 75 minutes. That is the plan. Amanda, what's your technique going to be out on the road today? It's going to be slow and steady today. Let's get some laps in. And Sean, what's your technique going to be? Uh, just take it easy on the corners and uh, don't crash the car. What is your technique going to be today? Uh, blocking. Blocking and uh, socializing. Socializing? Yep. What does socializing entail? I'm going to see if I can get one of the girl driver's numbers. So I'll have to like pull up next to him and uh, begin a conversation. See if I can get lucky. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep our eyes open for that today. Good luck out there. Thank you. So Ben, you're out there first. Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, the Le Mans start. So I'll be on foot, gonna hop to Grave Digger, boom, get on the track, and uh, hopefully stay in front. Yeah. I knew it was smarter to not put me out with uh, the 15 other cars, but what really sold it was the Le Mans start. I knew I didn't want to run to the car. Yeah. <laughs> and she's already battle damaged from yeah. yesterday. Okay, what's your technique going to be today? I'm going to try not to crash as much. As much. As much. That's All right, we'll see do. out there. Everything in degrees, you know, degrees of moderation, really. Well, it's been a stellar weekend, Stan. Uh, I've won the first race. I won the drag race. I won a pink price Winner! Yeah, Tom! I finished the heats. I finished the, uh, the road course. And you know what? If I finish the endurance race, I'm going to retire. You heard it here first. finish the race. That's good. What was the what was your most tense moment out there? 
Detroit car. <laughs> I saw you going over some tires out there. I did. I hit some tires. Didn't didn't flip it. I, I guess I guess it was kind of intense when they uh, they told me I was on fire, but I don't think it was on fire. It was just smoking. Good job, man. You did it. You endured. Yeah, finished it. Yep. David, how was it out there? It was uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, that was the most fun I've ever had racing. So. You lasted about, about three quarters of the race? Yeah, but you know, I did what I said I was gonna do. I socialized with anybody I could. I blocked whoever I wanted, and I had a lot of fun. Did you get any numbers? Uh, no, there were a lack of female drivers. There was one I was trying to catch up to, but she was too fast for me. All right, well, we see you next year. Uh, yeah, and I'll see if I can get Big Jake better equipped for socializing and blocking. All right, Amanda, it was wild out there today. It was wild. And uh, you, you, you held it together for Sean. Yep, I was there for backup, but he was, he was going, so, you know, we just let him go. And we cooled him down, and when he was on fire and smoking, and he got out there and finished it off. You have earned this one. We made you a racetrack, and you drove on the tires. Your vehicle broke so often and suffered so many hardships and various injuries from the bodily harm that you sustained. I present you this very sharp and gorgeous trophy. It's heavier than you, apparently. So congrats to all you makers face for that award. How do you feel? Very how's it feel being outside of the car but seeing it win at least something today? Uh, it feels great. You know, building these things is a ton of fun and then coming to race them is a, is a bunch of fun too. It's just a, it's just a, a building stuff is really fun. Showing them off to everybody is, is a really a nice system. We work there from Lucky Major Space as usual. You always go home with something, that's for sure. You guys are definitely a team that puts out a lot. Yeah! It was brutal, it was cruel, and I was the cruelest, brutalest one out there. I put Sexter 67 in the tires twice. I figured out how he was passing me and I sent him the wrong direction. It was a blast, we had a great time. Uh, I tore the living snot out of the little pink truck. I was on my third set of batteries and I blew the transmission about five minutes before the end of the race. So I've had my fill, I'm no longer gonna drive, I officially retire. You got your award. How was it out there? Today? Would get the that sharp and painful golden. Yes. <laughs> we look out for this. We're gonna get her hopped up on Vicodin shortly here. It actually cornered better with the second set of wheels. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Once one of our wheels blew, and we found well, some other wheels threw them on there, it, 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 it corners pile. better. It was sloppier, yeah. but it, it turned a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was a big emergency okay. when uh, we lost the uh, wheel stem for our inner tube. Apparently, somebody crashed the wheel stem into something. I don't know who. No idea. So now you've got what is this award here? This is the Crash and Burn Award. Carrie Third actually managed to get the these. title for 2011 goes to Gravedigger. Woo! And I think that sums it up right here. Yeah. 2011. 2011 construction season here. There you go. So we did. Absolutely we did. Uh, we did well. I would. Bryce really gets the constructors title. I just managed not to lose him too many places. <laughs> Alright, so, and that's all she wrote! Yeah! Woo!